Andrew Setchi says, uh, how do you pronounce the German letter U? Oh, I'm bored. What should I do? Ah, ich weiß. Get Germanized. Sponsored by italki, the easy way to learn languages. More information at the end of the video. Well, like this. U. U. Make your mouth like U. <laughs> Round. U. And stick it out. U. <laughs> U. Yeah, like that. Mm. And have your tongue kind of floating around. Mm. Fluffy Kid says, do you like the new Rammstein Zeit Project Lindemann? Have you heard about it? I have heard about it and I heard all the songs from the new album. But I have to say I'm not a big fan. Like, some songs are really cool, but others are just weird. And I don't know if I like the English uh, because Rammstein is supposed to be German. I don't know. What do you think, guys? Tell me in the comments below. Jen Miori says, did you have any fall on your face moments? Where you totally forgot English. Ich habe Angst für das. Äh, und was ist dein Lieblingsland außer Deutschland? Und was sollte man bringen, wenn man nach Deutschland kommt? Well, no, I usually never forget the whole language. <laughs> But parts, obviously. Like, sometimes I struggle. I have to talk around words when I can't think of them. It still happens to me. It's normal. And I just kind of switch to German or the other way around. Sometimes it happens in German and then like, ah, well... Oh yeah, here, this English word. What's that in German again? <laughs> Said bad. I think it's bad. And my favorite country, apart from Germany, must probably have to be Japan. Even though I've never been there. Just because it's super interesting to me. And if you come to Germany, uh, if you want to live here, bring German skills. Try to be able to speak basic German. If you just want to visit, well, don't worry about that. Bring your English, good enough. Um, and I don't know, uh, bring money, euros convert euros, uh, your dollars or whatever into euros and bring those. You can still use a bank machine here, I suppose, or credit card, not as often though as in other countries, maybe like the credit card that is. But apart from that, I can't really think of much. Uh, no, we, you can pretty much get anything here. I mean, if you have like certain, I don't know, things that you have in your country that you can't get here, obviously bring those, but apart from that, I don't really know. Not class, a slightly geeky question. Was there a part of English that you found the most difficult when you were learning? For example, I find grammatical, gender and case difficult in German in most languages, but I was told a lot of people find phrasal verbs difficult in English. What are things like go off, which usually mean explode or put up with, which means to have to live with something you don't like? I remember struggling with the tenses as well, like, um, I do not even know all the rules anymore. I just do it by heart kind of and like feeling wise. I'm not a big grammar nerd, but definitely the tenses, they kind of confused me at some point with have, had, had and stuff like that. I was like, what? What's, what, what is that even? But yeah. Steven says, did you ever think that your YouTube would get this successful? Well, first of all, thank you very much that you think it's very successful. Thank you very much. <laughs> but no, obviously I wouldn't have thought that YouTube develops into what it is today for me. Um, I would have thought uh, or I thought that it was going to be just a side thing, a hobby and not my full-time job and my full-time passion, so to speak. But I'm really glad it is and that it did develop into this and that it keeps developing. Jay from Monroe 98 says, question for the Q&A. What did inspire you to make videos about German, German culture? I don't know. Yeah, I explained that already in the other videos. So watch the other Q&A videos. How many languages do you want to learn and which? I also answered that in a past Q&A video. How do you feel about the fact that many people watch your videos? I remember clear as day when I reached 200 subscribers and I made a video in my flat, in my student flat in Bielefeld and I was like, oh, 200 people are watching me, that's so awesome. <laughs> and uh, then I made a video with the title, 200 people are watching one weird German guy or something like that. So I was always kind of amazed that so many people were interested in just watching what I had to say or listening to what I had to say. So I'm not creeped out by it or anything, if you mean that. I, th I think it's pretty amazing. Um, and interacting with you guys is still my favorite thing to do. Casa dos Mongo says, Master Fuel Lord, Master Lins here. Tell me how to say basic bitch in German. I'm hardcore in German. I hear you're one of the people from the live stream, the um, you now live streams that I do every now and then. We had this super long seven hour live stream one day or six seven hours i don't know and it was in the middle of the night and i said ah oh, here everyone who's still there you're hard corn german because we were talking about corn and i don't i don't know anyway he's one of those people or she i don't know <clears throat> basic bitch basis schlampe i guess is the literal translation basic bitch basic is like mm. Mm. it's really difficult to translate 
Bahasa Schlampe is probably not right either. Well, it would be Tussi. Like, and Tussi is a slang word for like a girl who um, only likes superficial stuff. Who is superficial? I mean, it likes material stuff and shit like that. You know what I mean? What a basic bitch is, right? So, um, I think the kids these days have a new word for that though. Like, Glamour bitch or something like that maybe tell me in the comments below my fellow germans if you know the word i'm talking about anton dude 2 says do you play video games yes i love video games i actually have a gaming channel a let's play channel get germanized gaming it is called so just type that into youtube or or you can also find it on the main get germanized channel in the little sidebar where i suggest other channels you can find it there and I play video games on a regular basis. At the moment I'm playing Alien Isolation and Ori and the Blind Forest and these Telltale games and all different kinds of stuff. So definitely check, definitely check that out. Chris Savage says, I've seen a guitar in some of your videos. Have you ever played it in a show? I'd love to see that. I have played it in the live streams actually, but I'm not good at all, like at all. I can't really play anything, just not anything fancy at least, like a few chords here and there and that's about it. And that's about it. Robert Brown says, what are your hobbies and do you have any party trick skills? Nothing like bending my fingers or anything like that a certain because they don't bend or anything fancy like that. No, the only thing I can do is like, oh, I'm your father and stuff like that. I can do voice tricks a bit or like, mm, with 900 years, you look better than me. Mm. Or, or shit like that, Yoda or mm, I like play games. No, <laughs> I don't know. Shit like that, like useless crap I can do, but nothing cool like party tricks with m magic. Real magic. One of my hobbies are really not all that special, like I like to penny board, which is like skateboarding without doing tricks, like just cruising pretty much, um, which, because it's cool. I, li I like it. I, I know it's kind of lame because I don't do tricks, but anyways. Um, <laughs> I like to read books when I get the chance. I'm still trying to get through the first Game of Thrones book. Yeah, takes me a while to read stuff. Um, obviously I do a lot of video editing in my free time as well, because my free time is kind of work time, and work time is free time. Ah, it's, it's difficult as a freelancer. But yeah, I like to hang out with my friends. Um, I like to play video games, big on video play, that big on video playing. When I get the chance, I play video games, and um, yeah, like to watch shows, movies, watch anime, uh, nerd stuff really. And I like to go to festivals and uh, concerts and stuff like that whenever I get the chance and have the money and time to do it, and meet people. Obviously, just normal people stuff. So that's it with the seventh. Q&A video. If you have any more questions, feel free to ask them in the comment section for future videos. And leave a like if you enjoyed this video and subscribe to the channel for more videos about the German language and culture. And apart from that, thank you very much for watching. Don't forget to get Germanized. Goodbye and auf Wiedersehen. Get connected with real teachers and real native speakers on italki.com. Find the link to the page in the video description.